All right, everyone, welcome back. Okay, so today we're talking about the volume of cones. So, in solving uh, the volume of cones, I've always found the three steps work really easy to be able to solve your problem. Step one, always write the formula for uh, the problem you're trying to solve. Step two, plug in the numbers that the formula asks for. And step three, do the arithmetic to get the answer. It's as easy as that. So what? Uh, so the volume of a cone is one third the base area times the height. So here's the formula. Let's take a look at the picture. Now I don't know about you, but if you remember the volume of a cylinder is one uh, volume equals base times the height. I always thought a cone was half of that. However, have your teacher do a little experiment where you can actually see a cone if you fill it up with sand or rice or water or whatever will actually fit perfectly three times into the same height cylinder. So it's a great thing to be able to see because it'll really help you remember this formula that volume of a cylinder, or excuse me, volume of a cone is one third of the base times the height. Now what I hope you guys remember is that the base of this area will be a circle. And that's why a lot of people will see volume of a cone be written as one third pi r squared, which is the area of a circle times the height. Let's see a problem done. So here we are. Step one, write formula. One third pi r squared times the height. Step two, plug in numbers. Step three, start solving. Now if you want to, you can multiply nine times eight and get 72 and then divide by three, or you could simplify, divide by three, divide by three, get three times eight, and that might even make it a little bit easier. Both ways work. Both ways you would get 24 pi. And if you multiply that by 3.14, you'd end up getting your answer of 75.36. 75.36 what? Cubic feet. All right, let's have you guys try one. The only thing you have to realize here is What's your radius? Our radius is only 5 because the diameter is 10. That way you plug in a 5 for the radius. All right, so we've plugged in the numbers. Now let's get the answer. Now in this situation, you'll notice I multiplied these together and got 375. And when I divide by 3, I get 125. Also, I could have simplified divide by 3 and divide by 3 and done 25 times 5, which also would have gotten me 125 pi. All right, when I multiply by 314, I get 392.5 cubic inches. All right, so if you guys got any questions, don't be afraid to ask your teacher. Don't be afraid to ask your parents. Have a good one, everybody.